Hey guys, program hacker one here. Hey guys, program hacker one here. And today I'm going to teach you how to add custom icons to your Suave HD HD theme on any i4 chip devices, or did I say A4 chip devices? For example, the iPhone 4 or the iTouch 4. So as you can see, um, I'm not sure if you can see that Suave HD doesn't have the official Game Center icon. If you have Suave HD, you know what I mean. Like the Game Center icon. Maybe you can see it right there, Game Center. Um, yeah, it doesn't have that Game Center icon, and you can see on my screen it has the Game Center icon because I actually added it by myself. And some people have have had problems where you know it's not as easy as adding icons into the glass part theme. They can just drag an icon. For the Swap HD theme, you have to go to first step. You're gonna have to swap each theme and start through SSH, obviously. Go to var stash themes. You go to swap HD it's theme. It's 830. And as you notice, um, this is SSH, right? This is just disk 8 connecting to USB, whatever. There's no icons in the icons folder. So just scrap the icons folder. Yeah. And go to your bundles. So Everything in bundles, um, all your icons, as you can see. The um, com that Apple the iBooks is where your iBooks icon is. Uh, all this other stuff on my Springboard. Just see, for example, I want to add an icon to Game Center, like what I showed you. Um, so, in order to actually get the name for your folder, you have to go to this website, and it'll be in the sub-bar the first website and let me just show you it will be you get to this page and you will have to look for the app to all these charts at the bottom the app you want for example I'm going to look for command F game center and right there game center dot com the apple um, com the apple the game center and this would be the name of your folder, the one I'm highlighting right now. Just copy that. Wait, let me check for a second. Yeah, see the CF bundle identifier? That's your folder name. Oops. So you're just gonna go ahead and right click on bundles and add a new folder. And just type in the name. The, and like that. Then you add it. And is it there? And you, as you can see, you already have an icon installed. So once you make that folder, you have an empty folder. Now go to the second link, and it's it's a forum, so you can look for a bunch of icons on different pages. Probably it's like 500 over pages, so you kind of have a rough time there, but. <laughs> so you'll be directed to this page. Oh, Mac themes. As you can see in the header, you said Mac themes, theme swap HD, package updated. Oh god, my internet's so slow now. Why? Okay, whatever. You know, you you get you get the picture when you go to the website. So I'm gonna go to my pictures now. And look for the game center icon. There, as you can see, the game center icon right here. 
For all iPhone 4 and iTouch 4s, the icon size should have to be 120 by 120. So you can just edit it in Photoshop or resize it in um, what's that? App, uh, Ur Fan View or something. I R F A N View. It's really simple to resize your photos. Very simple. So once you're done with that, once you get the icon and you resized it, you have to go back to that same website, so just like that, to the website. You have to resize most of the stuff and, you know, you go back to CF Bundle Identifier and you go, you command F and look for the same app again. Oops, why is it not looking? Game Center. Alright, there. And you scroll to the fourth bar, fourth column, if you're on the iPhone 4, or I touch 4, and you will copy this name right there. Go back to your pictures, and you will name your Game Center icon to that name. Icon at 2 times the PNG. Once you're done with that, you just simply drag the icon to the dot to com.apple.gamecenter and just drag it in there and you're done and all you gotta do is just reactivate it in the winter board by turning it off and turning it back on and your game center icon should be there it will be the same for all other icons so yeah alright don't forget to check out my giveaway here and thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. See ya.